good i believe we are now on recording mode yes so to start off, off with is this is what we are going to do so we can be able to see this sort of uh, a section that has a border around same border here same sort of card then this one is like oh it has more information then this has two buttons that continue and browse tutorials and maybe let's let's go see where we can be able to find this under w3 schools since i copied it from there mm. Okay, it's taking its time. Let's just continue. So let's see whether we can be able to rebuild this. So in my HTML here, I'm going to do a div like that, and I'm going to just call this one a, a card. And another class I'm going to add here is a larger card. Then uh, in this one, we have uh, this few text here that is hi, welcome. We, we hope we'll continue to learn with us, continue and browse tutorials. So let's do the text. So you can just start here with the H2. I say hi. Okay, I'll just do the content first, then the text later. Then it's followed by a paragraph and also followed, followed by another paragraph. Then we have two buttons, so I'll be able to just set them div dot buttons here and say in them I have just some classes button dot btn and let's have two of them. So and after that we have another content div dot inner dash card. Uh, let's add the card dot inner card like that. So that for the HTML part of things, let's quickly fill in the rest of the information. Good job, uh, your score. So that is, um, can be able to do H3 here. And after the H3, I do another paragraph. And after the paragraph, we have the score factors. So that can be H4. And after that, we have uh, some cards those lessons and the rest so i'm just going to say div dot card dot uh, start card and in this start card we can have h5 that is for h23 and then you can be able to have a paragraph below them that is for the rest of the paragraph oh i need to like do the cards in the right order so these cards are, are uh, those four cards, so I can be able to do them in a separate div. And they add a class here, I say, uh, score factors, like that. Okay. So if I save this one, currently we have nothing except this high and those buttons and nothing else. So let's fill in the content. Uh, let's click HTML. Uh, where is it? Here is our card, in fact. So this is the card I was using, so you can be able to see it from here. Nevertheless, we don't have like text that we can copy. So let's quickly read and copy it. So it says, welcome to the new my learning here at W3 schools. So welcome to, hey, <laughs> here. Welcome to the new, okay. Welcome to the new uh, my learning here at W3 schools. So they have done this double quotes thing, not single quotes. Here at W3 schools, here at W3 schools. Then um, this will be your hub to all the tutorials. This will be your hub to all the tutorials. 
uh, we offer and your learning progress tutorials uh, we offer offer and your learning progress your learning progress uh, we hope you will uh, continue to learn with us so that for the next p we hope you will continue learning with us so let's add some classes here um, for this p tax so we can just see here a class uh, of a uh, uh, card text i do here class of uh, card text also and for this one i do a class of card title and for the buttons we have btn and i can say active here also and we have our card inner the h3 here it says good job good job exclamation then your score here it says your score and finally we have the 15 that one points i'm just going to do a div here to hold that a div i can do a paragraph or a heading so i just say 15 that one points that one then below it we have the points another p i say points so you can just come here and say another class here i call it points uh, i do a class here points uh, count and i do another class here i call it points uh, text then we have the score factors here and if you look at the score factors and, and your score they kind of look the same so it's best to assume they are more of the same so can do use the same class so score factors and so the class i'm going to use here is the one that will be used here so i'll fix in the classes or yeah let me just fix them quickly so my class here is the score title and this one is going to have a class of the score text and the heading here is going to have a class of the score text and let's go to the start card now this single card here it has 823 and lessons read so here we have a, a class of a start title or let's call them a start count and this one will have a similar class of like a score text above because they look like same i don't know whether you are seeing this image but in case you ain't seeing the image just find similar of this image qua eow3 schools um, i'll just post the link here like that uh, okay let me okay chat and look to me w3 schools here we are i believe we could clear kwenu not so sure if it is okay so here we have all that then um let's do the the text quickly so the first one is h23 with the text of uh, lessons red lessons red the next one is uh, 11 with a star in front of it with uh, stars collected. We'll do the stars later on, I believe, but for now, we won't have it. So 11. Uh, the text is uh, stars collected. Stars collected. The next one, we have 560 quiz points. 560 that is the quiz points quiz points and lastly we have 148 to exercise points so that is 148 to exercise points exercise points 
one thing you can notice is that uh, we have a few things here like H23 has some sort of at the end kuna sort of color there so we will look on how to fix that one or how to do it correctly anyway for our buttons i can see we didn't add the text there so let's do continue and browse tutorials for our buttons on top here we are they here so the first one which is active we do continue and this one is uh browse tutorials like that so what do we have now so currently this is what we have no styling and everything is just like uh, the way it looks so let's quickly like patch in some some styles to guide what we see in the browser so i'll start by selecting everything and getting rid of the margins is it margins yes i'll also clear the padding and set the box sizing to border box everything's now there the next thing we can see is that we have um, the card so let's get our classes and get started the first thing is the body so we'll start with the body and do that i'm going to say display to flex i'm going to set a height here of 100 given height or available height this thing is not going to be dynamic but we can do it then height of 100 vertical height then we can be able to set the display flex and just for content to the center and align items to the center also so this is what we have currently everything is at the center and everything is centered correctly except for our card we need to give our card some given width so let's go to the card for the body we can say we are done now for the card uh, actually let me start with the larger card mm, card so for the card it's going to have a given border of one pixels one pixel solid um, gray it's going to have some padding of about 50 px if i'm not wrong then it's going to have some border radius of um, 10 px that looks like 20 px so that's what we have everything has been styled that way not bad that's what we expect except everything is overflowing and not in the right place then we can just go to index css and to finish your overflow and we just set it to hidden except we don't want all the cards like to have sort of padding to them for example this is that card they kind of have a, a very large padding so you we can just basically copy the start card from here and adjust its padding on its own dot start card and just say the padding that is about 6px like that so it will adjust the padding correctly and also we can also reduce the border radius to something like 10 px yes so for the those ones are good and this the other ones are correct correct so let's quickly address this other the width of the larger card so width of the larger card it's actually this class of larger card here and so we'll just do the styles here till we reach the start card class dot larger card it's going to have a given width it i'm going to just fix it at about uh, 800 px uh, let's fix it at a thousand yeah thousand looks good next we have uh, the display or the display of this with it uh yeah let's get rid of this other card here the inner card or give it a different styling so dot inner card because it's not like um, arranged at the exact point with the larger card so it's kind of separate so for the inner card 
I'm going to give it the following classes. The first one is the display of uh, not display but rather position of absolute. I just want it to be absolutely positioned. And I'm going to set to the right. I want it to be rightly positioned at about maybe 40% from the right. There we are. And the top should be zero. Should be zero like that. And also we set the bottom zero. So kind of what we want. Except I don't know why we have a lot of space down. And for all our cards, let's set a fixed background on them of white. Like that. So this one is looking like Ikoju Yayo Ingine. So for the rest of the content, like key content here, high and nini, it's kind of a given place in a five figure. So let's do that one too. The way we can achieve that is this ones, they have a given content. So we can just say dot card content here. We just separate it from the rest of the content like that. So for our card content, uh, just below the larger card, I'm going to say card content and I'm going to give it a width of uh, 60%. See it really large like that. It's kind of half a width of 50%. Yes, a question. Okay, how have I separated uh, this? Oh, about separating the content here using this class that I have added here, this new div. Actually, that was what we have we had before. You can be able to notice like uh, we have H2, then it goes down to the inner card here. So I just wanted this content to be separate on its own. Like be, besides it being in the this larger card class, we want it also to have its own container. So that's when I just selected everything. Cut it. I did a div dot card content like that. Then we can paste, then we can form a file. Go to. In short, I just added this wrapper class here. Div of class, card content. Go to. So with that, you will notice something else. Our card here is having a full height. That's not really what we want. And if I were to ask why that happens, I believe maybe it's our letter sheet. Let me just ask. How did that happen? For example, e kit you gonna height here a hundred percent. Now you see height here to make space for kwa hi inner card. And in fact, if you look at the inner card, aina height ya pa kabisa. Who can guess why that happens? Or why that happened? Okay, so to help you go around that one is that this inner card has a class of position absolute. And for you to position something absolutely to the parent, the parent has to have a class of position relative. And by default, they don't have position relative. They all have, I think, position. Um, is it static? Position. Uh, yeah, they all have a position that is static. That is uh, top down. Like when you kill a cutie in a peer, for example, this P tag here has a position static, high tag has a position static because static in a manisha, maliniko just arrange kutoka hapo kwenda chini kwenda chini venye miapia, the way it appears. But positioning things relatively, relatively like it tells things don't position yourself the way you are. Jieke tu popote. So kieka popote, in a manisha it will lose its static nature and it will try to find the closest parent that has position relative and if it does not find any of the parents having a position relative then it will resolve to the body and it will take uh, the position or it will try to position itself absolutely to the body not to the parent container so for our parent we know larger card 
is the parent of inner card, then we can be able to do that. So position here, I'm just going to say relative. I save and everything now is positioned relatively, but it's also like taking the height of the parent, which is not our case. <laughs> Uh, so to fix that one, let's see in a card here. I'm going to say the height to fit the content. So height fit content will help it like now take its own height, not the height of the parent. But at the same time, somehow it's not positioned in the right place. So we shall just go to the next uh, positioning uh, design. That is uh, called uh, transform. And I'm going to translate this one uh, actually top by minus 50%. And that's left, I believe, 50%, 50%. Then I need to do top of 50%. So that one will be that way. And for the left, because image cool uh, here negative 50%, how can I, or oh, can just use translate y here instead. Yeah, and reduce this from 40 to maybe 20. Yes, now that one will move it somehow when do commission. Anyway, about positioning things, so, First, I did the position absolute, then I'll just move this one, okay, I'll do Kwanza. Then I said from the top, move down 50% before the translate comes. It a move to Kaju Kwanza 50%. You know, we can up at the border here, at the center here, Iko katikati your parent, I border your top, katikati your parent, if you try to match the heights there. So this one is at the center. Then I went ahead and said, right, 20%. Now from the right here, this rest of the section, um, can I take a pen here? Now, yeah. So from the right, position yourself, 20%. That's what I did. Then top, 50%. That is Kutoka Hapa, Hadi Hapa. This is 50% of the parent, then down here. Then the next thing in Tukonayo ni, we have the bottom zero. So don't think of this critical. Yes, that's not important. We can get rid of it. Now, I'm using top and right only to position it relative to the parent. Then I'll use transform, translate Y minus 50% to return it upwards by 50%. That way it will send itself correctly at the center. So let me just delete this thing. How can I delete now? Oh, I can do that one. Oh, better. Good. Yeah. So that's the positioning. Somehow you can see we are heading somewhere. Now we need to just fix in the widths and the styles. So let's start. Uh, let's. Oh, oh. Let's start with the styles of the main content. That is the hi and the welcome and the buttons. So to quickly to quickly get a hold of them, we have the card title here. And in short, we have the card content here. We can use it, but let's just separate everything. So card title. Oh, let's start with the card content. Yes. So just above in a card so dot card content dot card content what i'm going to do here i'm going to select the heading that is h2 dot card content under the p i'm going to set the <laughs> margin bottom margin bottom of about 10 px from each other that way they will separate we would uh, let me confirm the the difference the knee I'm wish you can uh, kind of has larger spacing, but we can add the spacing uh, from somewhere else. So we'll just increase this one to 20. 20 will be too large, 16 maybe. Hmm, makes sense, 20. Good. 
Now 20 is uh, separated, but may separate it due sana. So let me reduce this one to 16. And so I'm going to select the card content, a P, a last child. So if it's the last child, I'm going to set the margin bottom of 20px. Let's do that, that to see the difference. It's not working. So P last child. Oh, it should be here, I think. Yeah, there. Not working. When does the, uh, I have no idea. We'll come back to this one so that I can be able to show you how to use the pseudo class last child. But why didn't the other one work anyways? So let's, uh, those are for the buttons. Let's style the title here. Give it some styles a bit. So it's called card title. So just below here, do dot card title. Let's say the font weight. We want only to use 500 and nothing much above 500. Then we have the text here. So how is that one called? It's called card text. So dot card text. I'm going to set the font weight. Uh, we are not going to affect the font weight. Let's just affect the city letter spacing and the color. So for the color, we are going to set something like gray. Let's go back sort of that. Yes. Then we can just quickly jump down to the to our buttons. Our button kind of has uh, this border radius around it, then the continue, which is white. So let's select our BTN. So dot button, we're going to set the border radius of uh, 50% to make sure it's totally rounded. And we're going to set a padding of, um, a padding which is kind of large, that's 16px. 25 px like that but you won't notice any difference here oh yes you can notice the difference oh that one is large let's do 50 px yeah 50 px is good reduce this one kind of 12 there we are then the next thing you will notice is that this button buttons kind of spread all through they given uh, with it, each of them, except Yamisho. So Yakwanza in Akena chukua 50% of the given uh, with it. So we'll just do uh, dot BTN. We we'll just go back to our end child. It fails, we go to represent an element that has an uh, AB minus one siblings before it. For n positive integer or serial and transparent element integer one, I'm going to set a, it or give it a fixed width of a 50%. So this one is going to take a width of 50%. And also I'm going to say dot btn dot active. If it's active, oh, let's get rid of the common, common, common styles first. That's the border and everything from the BTN. So border to none. Background to transparent. And font weight to 500. And also we take care of the something else, the font size. Font size, we set it to 16px. That one kind of looks good. Then we also add the cursor pointer. And also we can also reduce the color, or oh, color is totally dark. And this font width is kind of larger to 600px, yes. Now let's style the first BTN, that's the continued BTN. That's the active BTN. We are only going to do the background. 
sort of black. So I'm going to set up black color them using exa 13, 14, 19, and also set the color now to white. So if you look at it, it's kind of what they have here. Though the colors might re not really match like exact. Then we can say the first section is complete. Now let's work on the inner card here. Give it some width and continue. So for the inner card, I want to set a width based on the parent. That is a uh, 60 uh, too large and 40% help kind of helpful. 20% uh, too small. That percent. Uh, I think they have sort of that percent here. Then I need to move it a bit to the end there. Now right can reduce to 15 instead of 20. Ah, uh, yes. So currently that one is placed into the right position and given the width, the given with it, except the padding might to be too large, padding X. So I can just uh, maybe reduce the padding here instead of the normal padding that we have here at 50 px so then i can just say uh, 50 px for top and bottom but for the right and left let's do that px that one uh, is that good kind of the next thing we need to center the wood job your score and 15 that one with the points let's see what we have for our uh, for those that's the score title score text and the points so just here below the inner card we start with the score a title we just say text align to the center we say margin bottom of about 10 px and also for the is it for the size yeah we reduce the font size to something smaller font size to 12 px no 14 I think good. That one is looking good. Uh, even the padding on top is really large. So let's reduce, reduce it to that. Okay. So let's go next to your score here. I believe it's kind of smaller. So that's the score text. We quickly also give it some class, some styles. Score text. We just say a font size. We reduce the font size to smaller font size like uh, 12 px 12 px and also we reduce the or we change the color to sort of gray and we give it a margin bottom of about 20 px so that's what we have and we also need to center it so text align center like that now it's centered the next part is this so of uh, 15 that one points so way how is it given so we have 15 that one which is really large with the points below smaller but a heavier font weight so that is the points copy the point class uh, just do points dot points just start by saying uh, a text align to the center and that is it then i can just get the point count and the points text so dot points uh, count i'm going to set a font weight which is really heavier of about 600 also it's also it will also appear or apply to the point text uh, now i can purely style them separately the point count give it a larger font size of about 72 px then for the points text i'm going to just set a font weight of, uh, not a font weight but rather font size of uh, 14 pixels so that's what we have oh this one has not really updated the font size i uh, should have done size here size like that now that kind of looks what they have next portion is this score factors heading with the the lessons in them 
So that is the so-called H4 under inner card, H4. So for that, I can just come here and say dot inner card, H4, because I want to select it first and say text align to the left. Also give it some padding left of about 10 px. Just move it slightly to Tundani. Then we have the titles here or these smaller cards. So for those cards, they are all into score factors. So I can just take my class here, score factors, and let's say there, just below the H4, and say score factors. I'm going to use a display of grid and a grid template columns. A grid template columns of a uh, one fr one fr like that and also i'm going to add a padding or a gap that is just a normal gap of 10 px uh, for each of them then thereafter i have this lessons card so where are they where are they so those are the score text also but under the start card so to be able to alter them so you can just select the start card then i select the score text and get rid of the margin like that so that they can just say the margins below and the bottom no margins and if we look they like a line to the left so you can also be able to alter the padding if they send sort of padding and I set it to zero. Uh, but we have this left, uh, oh, oh, it's text align center, not padding actually. So text align, just start. So I did use here text align left and here I've used the text align start. So left and start, they kind of, appear the same with the major or some minor not major minor differences start will take care of the adjacent or the other element and the left won't take care of that it will just move to the left completely so let's quickly add a few of these classes here the size of these uh, score titles kind of heavier that's the start kind the start count the font weight and the size kind of larger so dot start count can just affect the font weight first i set it to 500 and also i affect the size font size i set it to something like 16 px and let's see what we have font weight has not taken into consideration it's why it go heavier yeah so everything is good up to that specific point you can say your code is done except my card here has some weird of like a dark color so my card shouldn't be that card uh, shouldn't be that heavy that's the border should be sort of lighter so we we'll just do that now it has the appeared whatever they have here uh, so one more thing you could notice is, is that this inner card has like a sort of a box shadow on it so let's take care of that box shadow for our inner card here. So how do you do that? Just go to the inner card class and add a box shadow. And their shadow kind of goes to the left, no, to the right and at the bottom. So you can just say uh, zero, then to the right, do sort of 10 px, and at the bottom 10 px with a zero and an RDBA of um, uh, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 0.1 that kind kind of looks what they have but I need to move this one to the left yeah that one has applied so I believe one of, of the 10 px is a scam this might be forced to zero yeah, so that was the blah, blah thing. So let's return in the blah. You can use even 4px, just some sort of uh, kind of small. Let's use 10. 
and kind of looks what they had here sort of sort of box shadow there then we can be able to say our card now is kind of done nothing much else one more thing i can say this uh, the spacing kutoka hapa kuchini kind of large so let's take care of that by hovering and not uh, checking what's causing that one so this core text here has a margin of bottom you see that margin so take my cursor over over that and i can be able to say it has a margin uh, 10 px and a padding of 10 px to the bottom so can get rid of that because i selected it basing uh, on the h4 then uh, where is the h4 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 so you can just find it control find h4 here it is and also i need to just say padding left padding bottom of zero and a margin of zero let's see what we have so if i do that you will notice it has gotten rid of the margins so we can just quickly add a small margin there to quickly move it down a bit and the padding left kind of looks large so 6px uh, 4 yes now that's kind of what they have here any questions for that? before we do the last or sort of the final thing okay so for the final thing is oh, our buttons here needed to add some pa um, margin or some space here so let me fix that find active just say margin right do 10 px move it a bit it's on google Kidogo. so for the final or slightly the final thing is the fonts so just pick some fonts from uh, google and i believe that might be sort of lato so we'll just go with the lato and i'm going to clear my fonts here and i'm going to add uh, for I, that in the lato any font again hmm. like in a car lato exactly i see lato then that is sun serif let's see sans serif how many open sans uh, open sans uh, let me just switch the font family for the body so font family uh, let's find something like Arial and let's see what it gives us. Yeah, Arial looks kind of what they had. Yeah, so we can say our code, except here the font size is kind of large, so let's kind of reduce it a bit. So that's for the card content paragraph here. I uh, just say font size do 14 exactly 14 px yeah so so one more thing to add on for their cards they had sort of uh, these borders at the end here so i'll quickly fix that by adding more classes based on the on this so for this the first start card we can just say uh, lessons the next one is the stars so add another class here called stars like that the other one is points points and the last one is exercise points so we'll just do here exercise instead to have a difference between this and that so we have lessons stars points and exercise so we can just come below here just at the end of or just below start card and do dot lessons I'll do border right, do 2px, solid green, 
and this one will be replicated for the rest of the classes. That is, the next one is um, after lessons, we had stars, points, and exercise. So that's stars, points, and exercise, like that. So if I do that and come back here, you'll notice it has sort of this board at the end, but it has not applied it in the right way. It has applied it as a border. So let's do something else. Instead of using borders, let's use something called uh, Okay, let's use something called uh, positions. That's after and before elements. So each element has a pseudo element called after and a before. So for our start card, I'll just place it at, it at the start card. There, start card and say, uh, I want to use the after pseudo class or a pseudo element. This is called a pseudo element. Why, why leave this one? Where is it? While nth child is a pseudo, is it a pseudo class or a pseudo selector. That's a pseudo selector. While after and before are called pseudo elements. So for our after, I'm going to say uh, would it of four px. Uh, I'm going to set a height of a uh, hundred percent. And for our start card, I'm just going to get rid of the overflow like that and actually let's increase this one to something like 10 px and after that say it's setting the height then i'm going also to set the background to something like a, a var dash dash uh, bg that is a bg a bg color like that so how can I get the BG color? So I'm going to set this BG color for each of these elements separately for lessons, stars, and the rest. So I'll just do that and say here green and get rid of the border. I'll copy this and replace it for the rest of the stuff. Uh, like that. So currently we are having nothing or viewing nothing because whenever you use position absolute, where's that? After after here, I need to position it also. And first there's something critical when you use these pseudo elements, you need to set the content. And usually we set the content to just blank. And also we need to set the position to absolute. And I'm going to use the left, not the left, but the right zero and the top zero the top zero to position it and for the parent it has to have a position of relative for it to like help it position it in the right place so everything has positioned itself in the right order except for the width it kind of looks large so let's use eight maybe to large still six correct so we have been able to set the correct uh, so it's actually for px Uh, yes, uh, 4px. And also let's include, in our, oh, I did reduce this one instead of reducing the right thing. Uh, the width is here at after, we need to do here at 6px. Let's reduce this one a bit also, 6 maybe. So that's whatever they had here. Then I can go ahead and switch the colors quickly. So we had uh, this sort of blue. This other one is totally white. And this one is sort of green. And this one is sort of yellow. So we start with the blue. So I'll just say here blue. And I use uh, VS Code Editor like this. And who move it that way to reduce the opacity. The other one is white, so you won't notice the difference. This other one is green, yes, but sort of uh, lighter green. So you can just reduce the opacity like that. And the last one is sort of yellow. 
with a reduced opacity, then uh, just over there and reduce the opacity to something else. That's what we have, and we can say we have achieved, oh, uh, not, not for the blue one. Uh, let me go to the blue and reduce the opacity like that. Uh, blue, 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 reduce the opacity bit, bit like that. Yes. So we can now say we have achieved the exact styling that is given by this card here at W3 schools. Any questions? Hello, people. Am I the only one here? Or there are no questions? Yes. So I believe so far you have learned something about uh, positioning things using the position absolute and the position relative. So whenever you use position absolute, remember the parent has to have posi position relative. And also about the pseudo elements, the after element to be specific, this one here. So that's how you do or replicate something. If you have been given the style, then you can easily reproduce the same. It's not too exact because we were not given the parameters, but it's kind of similar thing. So I believe we are good. So if there are no questions, then uh, just go and retry it out and see whether you can be able to reproduce the same. You have the code here or you have what you are supposed to make. This one, this section here, this image, that's what you are supposed to reproduce. I have tried my best to reproduce the same. So, yes, yes, question. Yes.